Hi, I am Sister Soyuna Pasiva of the DC Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Welcome to the 50 Days of Pride. With all of our Pride celebrations canceled, we decided to bring you 50 wonderful days of queer heroes. Heroes are queeros. You know, there may be heroes within your life, but these are the heroes that, that have made generations of us proud to be LGBTQ+. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are Just the way you came Don't you know that you're beautiful Hi, I'm Sister Soyuna of the DC Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. And today I'm going to tell you about Willem Arandeus. One of seven children, Willem Arandeus grew up in Amsterdam in the early 1900s, a time when most LGBTQ plus people felt they had no choice other than to keep their sexual, sexual orientations secret. However, Willem was not like others. At the age of 17, he refused to hide anymore and came out to his parents as gay. His parents simply could not accept Willem for who he really was, and he was forced out of the family home. Willem had always loved to paint and write, and despite his parents not understanding his homosexuality, they had always encouraged his creative talents. His first major commission was for a mural in a town hall, which helped build Willem's artistic reputation. A few years later, he turned his attention to writing. He authored many poems and stories and even had two novels published. However, everything changed when the Nazis invaded the Netherlands. Willem joined the Dutch resistance and he quickly made good use of his artistic talents by creating fake identity cards for the Dutch Jewish community. However, he knew that these forgeries wouldn't keep people safe for long. The Nazis were using the local records office to countercheck fake identities, and so Willem and his fellow resistance fighters, some of whom were also openly gay, decided to plan an attack on the building. The attack was a success, and thousands of records burned in the resulting fire. However, Willem and his colleagues' triumph was short-lived, and not long after the bombing, they were all arrested. Willem tried to take full responsibility for the attack, but the Nazis executed almost everyone they arrest had arrested, including Willem. One of the last things that he said before his execution was, homosexuals are not cowards. Thank you. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the 